News starts with a 7 News alert. An Englewood mother accused of using a baseball bat to kill a man she says was sexually assaulting a little girl. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen investigating this case. And Jacqueline, the woman admits to the murder in the police report. Yeah, this report says she actually demonstrated to police how she hit him over and over again in this alley behind her Inglewood home where he had been sleeping. Uh, but there is a memorial here in his honor tonight, and his friends and family tell me they don't believe those allegations for a second. He didn't look like my husband because his head was so beaten. Before her husband died in the hospital, Lisa Rainey saw the injuries that took his life and took a father from their three children. When she does go to court, I want her to look in my eyes and my kids' eyes and see how sad we are. For Cynthia Owen, charged with first-degree murder, is a neighbor. Her house now marked with evidence tape. She was just babbling and babbling. The morning after the murder, this neighbor says Owen was walking around claiming Rainey had inappropriately touched a four-year-old girl. Something about uh, her being molested or something like that, you know. I mean, she was kind of incoherent about everything. She was just talking and talking and rambling and rambling. In this arrest affidavit obtained by 7 News, police say Owen confessed to beating Rainey to death with a baby baseball bat in this alley behind her home and that she did it because the child told her she'd been sexually abused by Rainey. I don't think my husband's doing that. I think she's covering up for somebody and I want to know why, what was the real reason why she did to my husband and he didn't just, like I said, he doesn't deserve to be dead right now. Now, we checked. Rainey does have a criminal history, mostly alcohol-related charges. And for the last few weeks, he'd been living as a homeless person sleeping in this alley while he tried to work things out with his family. Now, for Cynthia, Owen also had a criminal history that included a previous assault charge. She did not wish to speak to us on camera from the jail tonight. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.